Hello, my name is Hunter Mitz. I am in Sociology 101. My professor is Mr. Suchland, and I conducted uh, the experiment Anything But Heavy Metal. So how I went about designing this experiment is I really just dove right into it. I formed my hypothesis. My hypothesis was that since I was going to conduct the research in my general town, hometown, so I hypothesized that people would be more into classic rock and country rather than anything else. So I put, picked country as my main one that I would get the most votes for. And how I conducted my test subjects is I got a notebook, like this one you see here, and I went about and literally went to random people's houses and asked them to answer a question for a survey for a college student. And most people obliged, some people refused, it was weird. So, as I was conducting all my, ex uh, my survey experiments, uh, I ran across like a normal, a weird trend that I didn't keep track of necessarily, but I was noticing it as as I got my results and the results of my test were in classic rock, well, in classic rock we got nine total answers, country, uh, seven total answers, uh, pop, three answers, one answer in rap, two in hard rock, and three in other abstract uh, styles of music. The reason I kept it narrowed to those fields is so I can get real results and not just like have like a scatter point that just went all over the place. And what I've noticed is that a lot of the older people went for hard rock and country. And so but I didn't decide to interview the majority of those two for my uh, results, for my interviews for the project. I decided to interview the three abstract, the three that went like for other uh, styles of music. And the three styles were opera, techno, and uh, K-pop. And the only reason I didn't follow K-pop under uh, pop is because it's a whole nother breed among itself, and most people did not agree with pop being K-pop. But, so, I looked at other results, and I asked them, why do you prefer this such such music? And a lot of them had to do with what they grew up with, or how it sued their personality. One of the people I interviewed that K-pop was a younger, like, teenage girl, junior high-ish. And she said it was different and it was popular at the time. A lot of her friends were getting into it. So I think that led to her, that being with her favorite genre of music. The opera person was someone that was from out of town, they haven't lived here like their whole life or anything like that. And they said it's like they went to opera houses when they were young, and it's just what they've come to like and respect. I'm like, so they decide that favorite genre of music from what they experienced in their childhood. And the techno uh, person, uh, by techno I mean like dubstep stuff like. Uh, the reason that it was their favorite style of music is because, like, they like to DJ, they like DJ artists, stuff like that, and they've also dabbled a bit. So, I'm guessing that the reason why it's his favorite is because of the experience that he has with it and how he likes to, uh, 
mess with the music, mess with the beats and tones and everything. That. So that's what I result from that test. And oddly enough, uh, when a lot of people initially like asked, when I, a lot of people answered me, it's just like, oh, I pretty much listen to anything except for country, which that seems to be the normal answer now. Like you ask a random person, rather than if you back then the joke of the project anything but heavy metal. It's now it's turned to anything but country or people that listen to country but not other stuff. So after I got all of my results and everything, I decided that there's something I wanted to look into. So I conducted a whole other test. Like why not? I was already hot and sweaty and walk around. Might as well do another. So, I know some people from my old high school, and I could gather a bunch of, went to a bunch of their houses, got some information for them, and I, so it narrowed down my age group to about, I would say, 15, 18 range, around there, so-so. And I conducted the test again, asked 25 people what their favorite genre of music was. Again, I got the... A lot of results were anything but country, so I had to ask them to narrow it down a bit, and so what I got there, the results for that were three for hard rock, zero for classic rock, three for country, a whopping ten for pop, six for rap, and Three for other. And this interests me because since I narrowed down it to a younger age group, that pop and rap shot up exponentially. Six times for rap, you know, like three times for pop. And so instead of going like asking the three others is for my next set of interviews, I instead asked for, uh, I, I took like, like two people from uh, pop and one from rap, and I asked them why is this your favorite genre of music, what got you into this genre of music, and do you personally like it, or is there some other reason for you listening to it, or are you preferring it? And the two people in pop gave very similar answers, and the reason why, like, is their friends or their friend group was listening to it and like it was something they can listen to with all their friends, they can play in the car, like when going somewhere, and everybody in their friend group could jam out to it. And the one rap person I talked to, and he said that he likes rap because it varies across the board. It can vary from talking about drugs and money, or it can vary about to talk about real issues. And he gave me some artists like you can either listen to Tupac or you listen to like artists like Juice World, And he also said that he preferred the lyrics of that and that he grew up with uh, his parent liked his parents liked the old style rap, like the old stuff. So for what I determined is I wanna say the majority of the younger like group that I interviewed had a uh, a lot of socialization uh, mixed in with their uh, uh, music taste, I should say, rather than them determining on their own. Obviously, there everybody has their own, like choose choose music and their own individual choice. But I do believe that from what I'm seeing here, there, there's a large pull in like some socialization as in what type of music they like. I mean from this crudely drawn graph here, these numbers don't lie. It shot up from test to test certain age groups. Or song, uh, not age groups, uh, song choices, or music choices, God, I can't talk. It's really interesting because those three people in the other group that I did interview also talked about uh, 
like their association to why they chose those very outlandish like styles of music. And it's because they were brought up around them and had more familiar like output to them. Which I found very interesting in how just how much socialization actually plays into what we like, what we dislike, and what we pick right from wrong. Well, my name is Hunter Mitz, and this concludes the my video submission on my project.